You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and today we have a new face to Greater Brockton. We have Chelsea George from an organization called Rough Start, which I love that name. <laughs> Chelsea, Thank welcome you. to our show. Thank you for having me. Well, tell us a little bit about the organization. I understand it's, uh, it's is, it, is it based here in Massachusetts? It is based here in Massachusetts. Our address is actually in Bellingham, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and we are a 501c3 approved dog rescue. However, we don't actually have a shelter. All of our dogs are in foster homes throughout the New England area. Hmm. I have someone I know that <laughs> might be a foster parent. I'm not sure oh. if it is. He lives in Mansfield, <laughs> but we can talk about that later so Definitely. we don't out him or anything. <laughs> um, but so far, you are the vice president and you said foster manager. Yes. Okay. So tell, kind of walk us through the process. What happens when you have a, 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 a rescue dog that you want to get placed? We rescue dogs mainly from Arkansas and Florida. So what my job as foster manager is, is to find them a good temporary home here in New England until we can place them into a forever home. So we have foster parents that are already approved. There's a process that they must go through. Mm -hmm. And we have all sorts of dogs, small, large, you know, good with cats, good with dogs, good with children, none of the above, all of the above. Mm -hmm. And my job is to make sure that each dog is going into the right temporary home. So I know everything about every dog. I know everything about all the foster families that we have, and I make sure that it's the best fit for everyone involved. All types of dogs? What types of dogs? All types of dogs. We have, right now, I mean, we have an eight pound Chihuahua mix. We have an 85 pound Mastiff mix. <laughs> we mm -hmm. have, you know, Pit Bulls. We have German Shepherds. We have a Husky mix. So we get everything in between. Now, just curious, why <laughs> Florida and Arkansas? Just out of curiosity, is there, I mean, Florida's a, a fairly warm climate most of the year. <laughs> yes. Okay, Arkansas, I don't know as much about, but this winter, who knows what's a it's warm climate. It's been pretty bad down cold. there too, but yeah. unfortunately in the southern states, there's severe overpopulation issues that we don't see up here. In southern Florida alone last year, they euthanized 200,000 dogs. Mm. In the whole country last year, they euthanized 1.2 million. So 200,000 of those were just from half of a state. Mm. So unfortunately, they don't spay and neuter down there like we do up here. And, you know, the education isn't as good about spaying and neutering and, yeah. you know, why it's such a good idea. So how many dogs run through the organization in a, in a given year? Do you know that number? Well, I don't we were actually, no, absolutely. We were actually formed in October of 2014 and we didn't bring any dogs up until November. So we've only been you know, active a few months. Mm -hmm. um, right now we have about 40 dogs who are adoptable between the South and the North at this time. Uh, we've had about 20 dogs adopted so far. Mm. So since 40, our founding, we've good. had about 60. Okay, and how'd you get involved? <laughs> I've been involved in dog rescue for about a year. Um, and I decided it was you know, time for me to move on and try to help this new organization there are never enough, you know, rescue groups. There are just so many dogs in so many different areas. So the more there are, you know, the more dogs we can save. And it's dogs so exclusively. If we you think are about like a dog uh, MSPCA or ASPCA or all the different others, <laughs> they have all sorts of different pets. Exactly. Okay. We focus on dogs and, you know, we're entirely foster based up here, but also in Florida and Arkansas. So through the whole process, we know all of our dogs, you know, it's not like going to a shelter and picking up a dog. You don't know what temperament you're getting when you bring that dog home. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be one way in the shelter, but when they come home, it's a whole different dog well, for we, us. <laughs> we had a dog like that once. We had a beautiful golden retriever and uh, his name was Charlie and he used to take us for a drag. Oh, she was very energetic and <laughs> Absolutely. it was kind of, uh, we were kids, we were high school kids and junior high school kids, but he was too much for my folks. Yeah. and it kind of broke my heart. He, he found another home, but it wasn't ours. We had two other dogs that we had both gotten through adopting. So when people want to adopt, what's the process they go? Well, you said they're, they're checked out. You, it's like we foster do. parents. You have <laughs> exactly. a, a profile for the dog. We do. Um, the process is you submit an application. Um, we ask for two personal references. You know, it can be a family member and a friend. We also ask for a veterinary reference. Mm -hmm. if you have current pets or you've had them recently. So we read through your application, we see what type of dog you're looking for, what your home is like, you know, the activity level in the house. Mm -hmm. We follow up on your references and we actually do a home check. Mm. It's pretty brief, it's not, you know, totally invasive or anything, it's just another way for us to understand the environment that the dog will be going to. Okay, Tell and then, it. go ahead. 
once you know once you find a dog that you're interested in you can do a private meet and greet with that dog meet and greet with the meet dog i love it <laughs> okay so tell us all the basic information your phone number your website how to get in touch absolutely our phone number is 508-657-4102 and our website is www.roughstartdogs.org and we spell rough r-u-f-f -F, so we help dogs that had a rough start to life and they're going to get a whole new lease on life. <laughs> Absolutely. I like it. Now, on the website, I haven't visited it yet. Do you have pictures of the dogs? We do. We have all of our information. We also have a list of our adoptable dogs. We tell you how to adopt, what events are coming up next, and where they are, fostering information, how to donate, and also how you can reach out to us. Okay, so if someone wants to adopt a dog and they've checked out and they've gone through their <laughs> site visit and everything like that, what, what is it a donation? Is there a specific cost? How does it all work? We do. We have one adoption fee that's $375 for any dog. What that covers is all of the dogs are either spayed or neutered. Mm -hmm. They're also totally vaccinated. They are dewormed. They get a microchip. Mm -hmm. um, they are also, you know, transported up. So you can imagine the cost for transporting a dog from either Arkansas or Florida is and then feeding pretty the dog expensive. once it's here, <laughs> right? Feeding the dog until it's Absolutely. adopted. Absolutely. Um, and we also, per Massachusetts law, there is a 48-hour quarantine period mm -hmm. once they come up. So it pays for that as well, and then their health certificate that they receive. And all the person would do once they adopted the dog is take it to their local town clerk's office or city clerk's office and get the dog get a the license. Get the dog a license, but absolutely. But the microchip's a big help because if the license and the collar falls off, <laughs> you can figure out absolutely. It's where, who, you know, where the dog came from or any of the dog's history. Right. Okay. Anything we've missed so far that you want to get out there? Any word that you want? We'll, we'll be doing another interview with one of your colleagues yes. about an event <laughs> you have coming up. But uh, do you need volunteers? We always need volunteers. We have people who process applications, conduct home visits, you know, volunteer with transport or working at events. So we are always looking for volunteers of any age to help us out. Okay. And we are always looking for fosters. Fosters and volunteers. <laughs> now, being a 501c3, do you have a board? We do have a board of directors, okay, so. and you know, if you donate or if you foster, everything is tax deductible. Mm -hmm. So food you buy for your foster dog, or you know, gas, you know, mileage that you drive mm -hmm. is also tax deductible. Oh, so. Well, it sounds like you get a great organization. <laughs> I'm glad we found out about it, and we'll help you promote it. Thank uh, you. Come by again and Absolutely. give us updates. And and this one is timeless, so we'll <laughs> run it, as they say, early and often. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. Glad to help. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton, um, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.